Hello class, this is Engineer Marbs Ramos, your instructor in linear algebra. So let me just have this recorded lecture for our first lesson in linear algebra, linear algebra which is linear equation. So this is just an introduction because this lesson will just uh, review you on equations and uh, this will lead to a more more uh, from basic to a more complex uh, principles in linear algebra our objectives for this lesson uh, first is to identify an equation second uh, at the end of this lesson you're expected to distinguish an identity equation from a conditional equation so ano ba ang identity equation ano rin ba ang conditional equation third is to solve uh, linear equations in one variable and fourth uh, solve application uh, solve application uh, problems on linear equations so what is an equation so an equation is a statement that two expressions are equivalent or equal. When we say two expressions, two mathematical expressions. Halimbawa, tulad nitong mga nandito sa example, itong mga example na yan. So, there are two mathematical expressions uh, separated by an equal sign. So, of course, to the left is the left side of the equation and to the right, is the right side of the equation to the right side of the equal sign so the expression on on each side of the equality sign or the equal sign is called a member of the equation so ito pwede nating sabihin na like for example itong 2x minus 4 this is the left member or the left side and yung 7x plus 1, ito is the right member or the right side of the equation. A variable a variable in the unknown. So like for example, mm -hmm. ulit sa equation natin 2x, mm -hmm. 2x minus 4. 2x minus 4 is equal to 7x plus 1. The x is the unknown. So, this is the variable x is the unknown. Uh, a solution or root of an equation, a solution or root of an equation is a number that produces a true statement when substituted for the variable. So, like for example, for a number that will satisfy this equation, halimbawa, uh, any number that will satisfy, pag sinabitute natin sa x, ang tawag doon ay solution or root of an equation. So, the set of all root is the solution set because there are times na more than one ang solution. So, there can be a set of all roots or the solution set for the equation. At instances that an equation has no solution, such equation is called an inconsistent equation. Now, let us try to define the an identity equation and a conditional equation. An identity equation is an equation that is true for any number substituted to the variable. For example, dito sa mga equation na to, an uh, identity equation, we have, for example, 3x plus 4. Uh, 3x plus 4 uh, is equal to 4 plus 3x. So we have 3x plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3x. 
So let us check if this is an example of an identity equation. Ano nga ang definition natin ng identity equation? An identity equation is an equation that is true for any numbers substituted to the variable. Kahit anong number daw ang isubstitute natin, the equation will be true. Let's check. So let's say, uh, let's substitute 2. Let's say, uh, x is equal to 2. If x is equal to 2, then we substitute 2 on both sides of the equation to the variable. So 3 times 2 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 times 2. This will become 6 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 6. This is 10 equals 10. So if we substitute 2, then the left and the right side of the equations are equal. So this is an identity equation. Let's say, let's change. Let's change the uh, value of x. Let's say x is equal to 5. Let's try to check. So 3 times 5 plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3 times 5. This is 15 plus 4 equals 4 plus 15 equals 19. 19 equals 19. So any number that we substitute to this equation 3x, 3x plus 4 is equal to 4 plus 3x, the equation will be true. Therefore, this equation is an identity equation. Actually, if you will just notice, no, yung kabalik taran lang kasi itong nasa left and side, 3x plus 4, sa kabila naman, 4 plus 3x. How about the second equation? Tignan natin yung second equation. Yung second equation ay ito naman na x times the quantity x minus 3 equals x squared minus 3x. Tignan natin. So, let's say x is equal to 2. So, the equation now will become 2 times 2 minus 3 is equal to 2 squared minus 3 times 2. Okay, so this is 2. 2 minus 3 is negative 1 is equal to 4. 2 squared is 4 minus uh, 3 times 2 is 6. This will become negative 2. The right side also becomes negative 2. Therefore, it is equal. The left member and the right member of the equation are equal. So let's say uh, x be equal to 5. So, 5 times 5 minus 3 is equal to 5 squared minus 3 times 5. So, this will become 5 times 2 is equal to 25 minus 3 times 5, 15. This is 10. Then, the right side is also 10. So, any number ang isubstitute natin sa equation, equal pa rin ang equation. So, that is called an identity equation. Okay? So, let us move forward. The, the second type of equation is a conditional equation. Ano naman itong conditional equation? A conditional equation is an equation that is true only for certain values of the unknown. Kung si identity equation, kahit ano, 
kahit ano ang substitute mo ay nag-equal yung left and right side of the equation, the, the left and right member. Sa conditional equation daw, meron lang certain values. There are only certain values na mag-equal doon sa unknown na yon. Okay, subukan natin. For this, for, for example, for this equation, 2x plus 3 is equal to x minus 2. Let's try to solve. 2x plus 3 is equal to x minus 2. How do we solve this equation? Okay, the first step, of course, is to group the like terms. So, ano ba ang mga parehas na term? Halimbawa, eto, parehas na term. Yung 2x, tsaka yung x, parehas yan. Kasi parehas sila may variable na x. Yung, two, yung 3 at 2 naman, at 3 at negative 2 ay parehas constant. So, pagsamahin din natin yan. So, let's say, pagsamahin natin yung 2x tsaka x sa left side. So, this will become 2x transposing x to the left side. Uh, magiging siyang minus x kasi positive dito sa kabila. Pag transfer mo siya dito sa left side, magiging na siyang negative is equal to matitira naman dito sa right side negative 2 tapos dito naman ay plus 3 so magiging siyang negative 3 pag dilipat natin sa kanan 2x minus x is x negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5 so therefore ang magsasatisfy lang sa equation na to na 2x plus 3 equals x minus 2 ay 5 lang. Let's check. No? Let's check. Let's say 2x plus 3 is equal to x minus 2. And x is negative 5. 2 times negative 5 plus 3 is equal to negative 5 minus 2. This is negative 10 plus 3 equals negative 7. Negative 10 plus 3, negative 7. And the right side is also negative 7. Therefore, x equals negative 5 is the correct answer. So, let us try again to solve the second equation. For what value of x will satisfy the second equation 4x minus 12 equals 0. 4x minus 12 equals 0. So there are just two terms, one with a variable x, 4x, and the other is a constant, negative 12. So let's just put negative 12 to the right side of the equation. Ang matitira sa kaliwa ay 4x. Dito naman, yung negative 12, pag nilipat mo sa kabila, magiging 12 na lang. Magiging positive 12 na. And then, to remove 4 from the variable x, we divide 4. We also divide 4 on the other side of the equation. Dividing 4, matitira na lang sa left side ay x, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Let's try to check x is equal to 3. Substituting it to the equation, uh, 4x minus 12 equals 0. So 4 times 3 minus 12 equals 0. 12 minus 12 equals 0. 0 equals 0. So x is the on, uh, 3 is the only number that will satisfy this equation. Therefore, for x minus 12 equals 0 is a conditional equation. 
So, let us continue solving for the third equation. Ano ang root or the solution dito? The equation is 3, uh, the quantity x minus 2 is equal to x plus 1. So, paano natin i-solve yan? First, i-distribute natin yung 3 dito sa loob ng nasa parenthesis para masimplify natin. Applying distributive property, we will have 3 times x, 3x, minus 3 times negative 2, negative 6, equals x plus 1. And then, we group again yung mga parehas na terms. Yung, yung lahat merong x at yung mga constant. Grouping the, the like terms, we will have 3x, positive x going to the left side will become negative x. And then, positive 1, negative 6 going to the right side, magiging positive 6 na. So, this will become 3x minus x. 2x is equal to 1 plus 6, 7. Dividing 2 on both sides, we will have x equal to 7 over halves. So, let us try to check. If 7 halves will satisfy the equation 3 quantity x minus 2 equals x plus 1. So, 3 times 7 halves minus 2 is equal to 7 halves plus 1. Again, applying distributive property, this will become 21 over 2, 3 times 7, over 2, minus 6, is equal to 7 halves plus 1. For us to easily navigate this equation, meron tayong fraction na 21 over 2, tsaka 7 over 2. Para matanggal yan, mag-multiply tayo na lang ng 2 on both sides of the equation. No? Uh, 2 din dito. Para makancel yung 2 Okay, dito ay mag-multiply din tayo ng 2. Okay, so... So, dito, cancel. Magkakaroon na lang tayo ng 21. 2 times 6. Negative 2 times negative 6. Negative 12. Dito naman ay 7 plus... 2 times uh, 2 times 1 dito ay 2. 21 minus 12 is 9. 7 plus 2 is 9. So, again, 7 halves will satisfy the equation, the third equation, no? so letter C. So, so, letter C is also a conditional equation. So, again, dalawa, Ang napag-usapan natin equation, first ay yung identity equation, and yung second ay yung conditional equation. Si identity equation, kahit anong number, no, yung substitute mo, ay nag equal yung left member or the left side, and the right member or the right side of the equation. Pero kay conditional equation, isa lang, isa lang ang value na pwedeng mag-satisfy, mag ano sa conditions natin. So, ito naman, properties of equality. Para mas madali tayo, no, na, na nakakapag-solve ng mga equations kapag uh, may mga kailangan i-eliminate or kailangan mag-combine ng terms, better na alam ninyo ito mga properties of equality. Okay, so for all real numbers, A, B, and C. So kahit anong numbers daw, no? Represented by A, uh, by B, by A, by B, and C. So it's just any number. Uh, represented by A, B, and C. So meron tayong tinatawag na addition property of equality. Halimbawa, if A, if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. So, bagyan natin ng number. Halimbawa, let's say B equal, A be equal to 2, B be equal to 3, 
and c be equal to 4. So, anong ibig sabihin nitong addition property of equality? So, kung ang a daw ay equal sa b. Ah, mali pala to. Baka kasi nag-assume agad tayo. So, ang a daw ay equal sa b. mag equal daw ang a tsaka b. Kung equal yan, and then kahit anong number ang i-add natin na c, let's say c be equal to 2, any number, uh, pag in natin ang c to both side of the equation, so equal ang, ang magiging equal ang a tsaka b. So, ang mangyayari, magiging a plus 2 is equal to b plus 2. Dapat parehas. Okay, like for example, let's let's think of any number na A equals B, sabihin nating equal sa 5. Okay, so ang A ay 5 plus 2, ang B ay 5 then 5 plus 2, this is 7 equals 7. Therefore, ang A tsaka B ay equal. So we add both on both side this number C na 2. Parehas ang kakalabasan. Therefore, A and B daw ay equal. So, that is the addition property of equality. Same goes with subtraction. No? Parehas lang nan sa subtraction. Kanina, add lang. Ngayon naman, subtraction. So, alimbawa ulit, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, um, if A and B daw ay equal no, na number, then, A minus C, any number, again, let's say C be equal to 5, any number na A minus daw natin, equal pa rin. Uh, sabihin natin, A minus 5 equals B minus 5. Sabihin natin, subukan natin kung equal yan. Mag-assign tayo ng number, sabihin natin ang, ang A ay gawin nating 10. Tignan natin kung ang B ay 10 din. So, 10 minus uh, 5 is equal to uh, B minus 5. Tinignan natin yan. Uh, ito, makakancel. Negative 5, negative 5. Ang B ay equal din sa 10. So, that's the subtraction property of equality. Okay, ano naman itong multiplication uh, Multiplication property of equality. So, if A is equal to B, then any number na i-multiply natin ay equal pa rin yung A tsaka B. So, halimbawa, subukan uli natin. If A is, uh, if C is equal to 5, again, let's say, then A uh, a times C is equal to B times C. So, this will become 5A. This will become uh, 5B. Let's say A is equal to 10. Tignan natin kung mag-10 din ang B. So, 5 times 10 is equal to 5B. Cancel lang 5, B will be equal to 10. So, parehas sila ng A. Ibig sabihin, any number, i-multiply mo ang both sides ng any number, equal pa rin. Okay? Yung number na yun. Then, the division property of equality. So, the same lang din, no? It's just the other way around. No? Reverse operation. So, if A is equal to B, then whatever number, i-divide natin sa dalawa, equal din yung B. Uh, equal pa rin yung A, tsaka B. Again, sibukan natin. Ang C is 5. Uh, then, tignan natin, no? Kung mag equal pa rin, sabihin natin, uh, A over 5 is equal to B over 5. Sabihin natin, ang A ay 10. Tignan natin, this will become 10 over 5 divided by B over 5. Again, cancel lang din naman yan. Ang B ay 10. Mag-equal pa rin yan. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong number ang i-divide natin on both sides. No? Uh, ng the same 
number. Tulad nito, same number na si. Equal, magiging equal pa rin yung left and right member of the equation. Uh, okay? So, tulad dito sa mga ginawa natin, if A and B, ulitin ko, if A and B, uh, if sa addition property, if, if A and B ay equal, sabihin na lang natin si A ay left side ng equation, at si B ay right side ng equation, So, pag nagdagdag ka sa left ng C at nagdagdag ka rin ng C sa right side, diba? tulad sa addition, nagdagdag ka ng C sa left, nagdagdag ka ng C sa right, equal pa rin yung left and right side ng equation. Ganon din sa subtraction. No? Magiging equal pa rin yung left at yung right side pag nagsubtract ka ng parehas na number on both sides. Ganon din sa multiplication. Magiging equal pa rin ang left at right side pag nagmultiply ka ng same number na C on the left and the right side of the equation ganun din sa division again magiging equal ang left at ang right side ng equation pag dinivide natin ng same number ang both sides of the equation so the properties of equality are used to find the roots no To find the root or roots of an equation. That is why it is very important na alam natin itong mga property ito, properties na ito ng equality. Okay, so for now class, hanggang dito lang muna ang ating lesson and we, I will again upload a recorded lecture on the continuation of our lesson 1 which is linear equation. So hopefully, I... Unti-unti nang nare-review kayo ng mga equations because as we move on, sabi ko nga, we will start from basic going to complex no? uh, mathematical principles on linear algebra. Thank you so much class and uh, abangan nyo lang din ulit yung next upload ko ng ating lesson for linear equations.